And the conversation we're going to have today is about how do you go about building, and you guys won't be able to see, so I'll turn it around. How do you go about building a manifestation powerhouse? Now, what the hell does that mean, <laughs> right? What a great thing to put up when no one knows what it means. Yeah? So, but the idea is, um, you know, if we think about oh, uh, the world around us today, and we'll get into what this manifestation means. But if we think about the world around us today, what the one thing which we heard, and I think I heard, was that there's a lot of change going on, right? There's a lot of change going on. And if you think about the business environment, what are the other factors in the business environment which makes things really challenging? Let's hear from you. Cost pressure. Cost pressure. Yeah, a lot of cost pressure. Cost. What else? Regulation. Regulation. Oh, yeah. Talk to my healthcare friends in the room. What about? What else? Talent. Talent is hard to find, and even when it's hard to find, pretty much everyone is pulling talent in every direction, yeah? Then there is technolo technology, right? But technology is changing, which completely changes the way the marketplace is operating. There's a lot of consumer preferences which are changing. Right? And you, you can keep, keep building this list, right? You can keep building this list. But the point is that we live in a really, really complex business environment. And in this complex business environment, if you think about it, the one thing which is really, really key is most organizations are faced with this wonderful thing called the reinvention, which is basically it's no longer enough to just be good at what you do and never change, and never transform, never shift. If you think about it, most organizations today are, th are constantly thinking about what is the new product I need to offer, what is the new service, what is the new delivery model, whatever, 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 right? So this re reinvention imperative is requiring us to manifest powerful new outcomes. And I would like to submit that most organizations are not very good at doing, at doing this. To reinvent and constantly come up with new outcomes and new, new ways of thinking is actually something organizations struggle with. Even really successful business leaders, when they're faced with having to shift the way they operate, start struggling. And why is that? That's an interesting question, right? Because they've been really successful in creating something. Why do they tend to struggle in shifting the way they've operated historically? What do you think might be going on? And often the mindset that creates this is not the mindset that will help you to create that. Right? So you, you think in a certain way. And the, way you, the, the thinking that has made you successful today often is what limits you from being successful in a new way. And that's what this conversation is about. How do you create an organization that is really, really good at manifestation? So before we go anywhere else, let's first have a conversation about what does manifestation mean? Right? So, so if I had to ask you, give me a definition for manifestation, what, is it, what definition would you give me? What's a def good definition for manifestation? Make Sorry? Make to make? There. Make there. What does that mean, David? Just so that. Make real. Make real. Yeah, make real. Make real what? That's an interesting definition, right? What else? What else? What is manifestation? Make it tangible. Tangible? It tangible. Whatever it is. Best you can be. Okay. Self-evident. Self-evident, yeah. Now, how does this apply to an organization? If you think about what an organization is all about, it is about creating outcomes, manifesting outcomes. That's all an organization does. And a really effective organization is able to create or manifest new different outcomes to meet the challenges which, are, which, are, which it faces. Now, if I went to the dictionary, 
and I looked at the definition of manifestation, which I did this morning, early this morning. <laughs> or maybe late last night, who knows? There's a Cricket World Cup going on, so I've been watching that in the background, right? Um, so here are the four definitions that, 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 yeah, that I found, and which are similar to what you said. So the first one which, uh, which came up, which was to make clear or evident. Right, to make something evident. The second one, which I really like, is to create beyond doubt or question. To create beyond doubt or question. Which is really powerful, because what it allows you to realize is that the process of manifestation is not just a process on the outside, but is also a process on the inside, because it needs to deal with doubts that are going on inside. To make the invisible visible. Now that's really interesting because often new outcomes are not just reapplication of best practices. And how often do we go looking for best practices to just reapply and see if things can happen again? But actually manifestation is about creating something new. Imagine if Steve Jobs had to just keep reapplying best practices, we would not have an iPod or an iPad ever come, come, into, come into being, right? So it's about how do you go from the invisible, that most, what most people cannot see, to really making it visible and tangible. And finally, to make apparent to the mind and the sight something which is really, really powerful. So that's what really this conversation is about. How do you create new power? How do you manifest new and powerful outcomes? And how do you create an organization that becomes a powerhouse at reinventing itself continuously and really manifesting new and powerful outcomes?